right now, though, my next guest has become one of our most popular movie stars since making his film debut in With Neil and I. If you haven't seen this film, you've got to see it. 23 years ago, that was. Well, tonight, Richard E. Grant stars in a new TV series. It's called Dispatches From Everywhere. Well, Richard E. Grant joins me now. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Do you know what? I was trying to describe this new series to someone and it's kind of impossible. You've just got to watch it. I agree. And I, I, can, only, I can only greet you like Jay Blades did as living legend. <laughs> <laughs> behave, behave yourself. <laughs> but look, you're you called him legend about ten times. <laughs> it's kind of weird because you're almost like the Wizard of Oz in a weird way. It's a very twisted, strange show, but I very much enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Well, that's that's how Jason Siegel, who created, directed, and um, stars in it, um, pitched it to us. He said that, that we were only given four episodes to read. And he said there are about four, four main characters that are a bit like the Wizard of Oz characters. They go on this journey to discover who they are, the meaning of life or whatever. And he said, you're essentially playing a wizard. And I said, well, what happens when the curtain goes back and you just see an old guy with a microphone? And he said, well, it's, nothing is what it seems. So I, we all signed up doing it, not knowing how it would end. Yeah. So it was a leap of faith. Ah, and, and a chance to work with somebody I know you admire greatly, Sally Field. And Sally Field looks about 12 years old. I don't know how she does it. I think she eats monkey brains on a daily basis. Fine. Um, and what was amazing about her is she, she's so petite, but and she's been in show business since she was 16 years old and Gidget and uh, Flying Nun, all of those things, through Oscars and Golden Globes and everything else that's happened to her. But you do not mess with Sally. She is... She's like a sort of pocket-sized rocket that you, you... I saw her go off once at somebody who, who crossed her, was trying to mess, mess with her, and um, <laughs> it was sobering to witness. <laughs> an education, an education in how to sort of just assert no. yourself and that's it. Now, look, you have to take some credit for Boris Johnson getting better because he watched with Neil and I when he was recovering and laughed a lot, so there you are. Well, good. I've done my national service then. <laughs> exactly. And I love the fact this, I mean, the movie is brilliant. Of course, it's a classic. But you are, every day, I'm loving that you're actually posting the great little, if you like, the little slogans, you know, all the little fantastic things that he said, like, we want the finest wines available to humanity. I still say that every time I go in the pub. Good. Just like him. Uh, I will tell the writer-director, Bruce Robinson, who will be thrilled. But it's great, and people do. It's one of those movies that people can quote. You know, they can quote from with Neil. Yes, they, yeah, they seem to. They, well, that's how it started. Somebody asked me to um, record a line of dialogue that they were particularly fond of. So I did and posted on Twitter, and then it just snowballed, and I became a bit like that previous program you were talking about, like a human jukebox, where somebody you know, presses a button and says, <laughs> can you do this line, and then you, you try and oblige. You know, it's great. It's really good. Can I just say, can you ever forgive me the movie that you were nominated for an Oscar? You were robbed. Yes. You were absolutely robbed. That's another one. If you haven't seen it, because everybody's rediscovering movies, download or get your hands on Can You Ever Forgive Me? But what I loved about you was how excited you were to be at the Oscars, how excited you were to meet someone like Barbara Streisand you met, who, of course, is a huge icon of yours. <laughs> no, it was absolutely... It was an unbelievable year last year. I was... Yeah, you know, 62 years old. The year began with all these critics awards and all these nominations for the you know the big five that exist in the um, awards circuit, and then it ended with uh, being the final Star Wars movie. And in between, I got to meet and spend time with Barbara Streisand quite a few times last year. So I was you know it, I never have a year like it before or since. So thrilled. I know it's fantastic. Have you got a sculpture of Barbara in your garden? Because that's taking I do. It, that's two. taking it quite far. Oh there she is. That oh is, that's lovely. It's two foot tall. Wow. It does that's very, very good. Do you spend a lot of time with her right now? Because obviously we're in lockdown and it's, you know, difficult to see people. But you can go and have well, a wee chat with Barbara in your garden. I can do and I do on a daily basis and especially when I'm mowing the lawn. So I've got a you know headphones and uh <laughs> Hiya, She's in the the gun. <laughs> How are you coping with all of this, though? Because I know, I know actors are very self-sufficient, you know, they, and, and, and you, sometimes you're used to maybe having periods where you're not as busy as you would like to be. That's so, but sure. how, how are you getting on with all of this? Um, you know, uh, gardening, play Scrabble with my wife every day, about three times a day. Um, 
go for walks, go for runs, you know, cook, bake, you know, do all that yeah. stuff. Are, are yeah. you sort of in a weird way finding it almost enjoyable? Oh, I, I have nothing to complain about. And um, I've got uh, my Scottish niece, Cathy Getty, is a, is a doctor. And, you know, when I, I know what people who are working on the front line are dealing with, uh, no, no room for any sure. spinge of complaint whatsoever. I'm yeah. in awe of what they do. No, you're absolutely right. That, that's when it all gets put into perspective, you know, because some people say, oh, you know, I'm not able to do this or I can't see this person. And it is, you know, it's, it, it would be lovely to go back to the way things were. Boy, how do we appreciate it? Um, but you're absolutely. right, you've just, got to, you've just got to count your blessings. Um, and we, we are lucky, you're right. You know, you've, you've got a little garden. You can say hello to Barbara. You can do all of these things. <laughs> Indeed. Which is which is good. And, and I know you have a thing for Hugh Jackman. Is that true? Do you have a Hugh Jackman statue I in mean, your garden? I have not got a Hugh Jackman statue in my garden, but that doesn't mean that I won't. I'm I'm actually inspired by you. I mean, who doesn't love Hugh Jackman? It's it's the law. You have to. Yes, I worked with him on Logan, and uh, I, I had to shoot him, so I, I felt terrible doing that. I know. Which part? Which part of Hugh Jackman do you want as a statue? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> All, all of it, just all of it. All of it. <laughs> there he is, Luke. I mean, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Nearly as gorgeous as you, Richard E. Grant. It's fantastic uh, to talk to you. Legend. And Thank listen, you. Dispatches from Elsewhere, it's on tonight at nine o'clock, isn't it? You can get it on AMC UK. OK. Thank you, Ray. So good to see you. Thank you so, so much. Isn't he great? I really love you. Yes, and you're a disgraceful flirt. How? <laughs> Oh. It's just who? I mean, yeah. <laughs> who and <laughs> I'm not. I, I take exception to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs>